27 May, it's about 9 a.m. And I've been in the office for about two hours now this morning um, with the intent that I need to go over the schedule after yesterday's location scout, tech scout. Um, we have some notes to go through the schedule and make some changes. There's some actors that aren't available certain days that I need to get to. But I have barely opened the schedule. There's been so many other tasks that I've been trying to manage and jump through uh, to make this film happen. So right now I find myself designing a magnet that we need for the car or the van with the senior center, day center. So here I am, I'm not a graphic artist trying to throw some color and something down on this so it doesn't look too cheesy it looks real it doesn't take people out of the story it helps bring people in just one of those little subtle pieces that that we need and running with the ball on this one um i prefer not to be doing that again i need to be in the schedule i need to be in the storyboards i need to be doing that but sometimes when you're a small budget then you'll have a certain amount of cash that's a very small percentage of that budget you find yourself out of your comfort zone doing things that you are not really capable of doing but somehow you have to grab the reins and move forward and make it happen so that's what i'm doing hopefully i can get that done and then i find myself trying to get permission for another piece of artwork for the film um and just lots of other things that are sidetracking that are all important and trying to move stuff forward. But at the same time, it's in some ways kind of frustrating because I'm not getting the work done that that's going to drive the whole production with the schedule and, and locations and actors and everything revolves around that. So it's it's feeling a little frustration and stress, um, but it's part of the what I signed up for as a producer. Um, if I don't want to do that, I want to complain anymore, then I need to produce some more cash and get that available so we can hire the right people to do it and here here i am doing that so just a little update part of the process taking you well behind the scenes maybe more than you want to go but this is the reality of small budget indie filmmaking on a very um, small cash deposit that that has grown a little bit more in our bank account to make this film happen um, we're still probably about five to ten thousand dollars short just to get stuff pr the production shot the film shot um but i'm still moving forward hoping that somehow those funds will come together or worst case scenario it's a credit card and i we're we don't want to do that again um so struggles the struggles and the joys and the ups and downs of filmmaking um Again, this is just 9.30 a.m., 9.42 a.m. right now, so plenty of day to, to battle it out. Yesterday ended really, really strongly. Um, have a production designer signed on, have makeup and hair signed on, but still some, some big battles still to, to fight against before we start shooting in five days. Follow the journey. Okay, about 15 minutes later, on the phone with our new production designer that came on board yesterday afternoon, Jennifer O'Bannon, who's also doing our costumes. She's now doing production design. After she saw the house and loved it, she was on board seeing that um, I'd found locations and, and trying to find stuff that's really available that we're not having to go in and create from scratch. Um, and so she's on board. So I just got off the phone with her. Her son's a graphic designer and very busy, but for his mom, he's going to squeak out a few minutes to quickly hammer out this design for the van magnet that goes on there that is such a, a little detail, but at the same time, such an important detail and helps kind of sell the story a little bit more. Here's the, the quick little sketches that I made for the finished one. And then we'll see when it's done, how close my little chicken scratch drawing was to the actual finished piece that's going to be being at the printers getting made in less than 57 minutes. I believe her son's that he's back east somewhere, um, very busy. And so lots of hoops are jumped through in this hour and a half to get this one prop made. And we have numerous other things like that. So um, now this is off and running and good. And now I can jump my attention back to scheduling the film where I, I need to be putting my time right now because everybody is revolved around the schedule and all of that. So 
Still rolling. 10.51 p.m. Still the 27th of May. And I have to hole punch my storyboards and get them in a two inch binder. So those will be ready to go. Uh, I did the storyboards, I don't know, six months ago. Um, <clears throat> I've got to go back through them and kind of update them and make adjustments there where I've made adjustments with the script since then. So that's kind of the last thing I'll do tonight before I go to bed. Um, but today's been a, a pretty good day. Still lots to do and get done. I never did make it through the schedule all the way. I was going to do that first thing this morning. I had such a late start on it because of all the other little immediate little fires that were starting I had to put out um, that I made it sort of the way through some of it. And then I had to go see, went and saw two more locations. One of them found is our assisted living home, a friend of ours house that I actually thought of a week or so ago, that will be a perfect place to shoot our assisted living scenes, both exterior, her home, and then the interior. Um, it's pretty much ready to go. We're just bringing in a hospital bed, and then we'll be ready to shoot that. So that was a good find. Um, also went and saw like a little apartment that's on top of a doctor's office that, that works. And then the doctor's office, it has a kind of a waiting room area that's perfect, that I love. The only hard thing with that location is it's a working working location, doctor's office, there's two doctors in there. So I've got to really look and see what we could do to get something there. But that would be awesome if we could get something in there and then use the other doctor place we found a couple of nights ago as more of the hospital room and such. So there's those. And then tonight we had a cast read through. Are we good to go? Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's just start at the beginning of 170. Ruby, still content, continues to enjoy the road trip. Heidi works her phone. Daisy senses something is wrong. What is it? I think we're out of gas. This gauge never worked. I just always filled up on Thursdays and it worked. No cell service. No gas? Yeah, can's empty. Amy's not my favorite anymore. Not her fault. <laughs> I should have told her. Out of gas spot day, the three ladies sit under the shade, shared shade of an old umbrella. Daisy and Ruby sit on their walkers, each with a water bottle. Heidi sits on the cooler. A blanket is near. And you're not allowed to pick up native woman out here against the law. And we're just trying to help. We're nice guys. I appreciate the offer, but my friends are coming. Did you see a white van? Yeah, on the right. Wait, you've come that far? That's like six miles. Thank you, everybody. Um, let's. Can we go through one more time? <laughs> Back to one. Uh, uh -huh. Just one more. No, I'm excited. Anything anyone wants to share? Or? I cried. I'm a wardrobe person. Wardrobe. Yes. Yeah. Our costume designer. Costume designer person is asking that all talent. I pretty much got you all covered, but we need to stretch the wardrobe as far as we can. So if we can bring your own pants and so, uh, you know, anything in like a khaki color or a navy or a black, fresh denims, you know, nothing distressed and your own shoes, that would help us tremendously. Or anything that you think would be fun for your character, I'm always open to. So that would be groovy, groovy. Anything else? We have a few parts that we haven't cast yet. Just throwing it out there, we <laughs> have the two drivers. I have some a couple of friends that I'm trying to get, but I haven't heard back. So we need to maybe Vincent and Spencer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what was, age? What age? It's optional. They're gonna it's just going to be an open road here, right? Yeah, and, and we need that location. Open road's been hard. And it has an open road that's picturesque. But, but we yeah. shot a new BMW. I cannot remember where we are, but when the new BMW came out a few years ago, okay, we so had a closed. Oh, 
Well, let, let me go through. We're not going to use the actual on, Let's focus on act, other actors. So, yeah. two, the two drivers. I have a friend that has, um, he lives in Oregon and he has a Ferrari. And I was trying to get him to come down and drive because it's so small. And I thought, why not? But I don't know if that's going to happen. So, so, those two, what else we have? Uh, the Both doctors. We need both doctors. We found our nurses. Our two <laughs> nurses are in the room. Possibly the swim instructor, but the marketing agent. Oh, I think I have somebody for you for that. The marketing agent? Or the swim instructor. Yeah, send me a couple of those would be great. And then everybody else, I think we're, we're good. The, we have young Daisy and father and mother. They don't know it yet. Um, Vic's good, tour guides. Do we have a tour guide? I, oh, I think you Lana Wall. Oh yes, yes, Lana Wall. We, she's great. Um, and and Sam, the security guard. Yes, the Sam Johnson character. I can't get a hold of the guy who I want. He's played Sam Johnson. This will be his third movie of mine that he's played Sam Johnson in, and so oh, it's a continuing good. role. And I just can't. I'm wondering why I have a full name. Yeah, um, but th yeah, that's it. So oh, yeah. if you do have some ideas, shoot them over to me. About that old swimmer. Oh, yeah, there's that old swimmer that carries his flippers, and who's that? We and back, yes, background. We don't. We need. We need quite a few seniors. Because when she gets into background. the pool a couple times, yeah, there's a there's handful. the guy with when she, yeah, the old guy that you mentioned, and another woman with her. So those two. Are you guys, on the swim? Well, I was wondering if old Bob would tag along there with us. That's kind you of. No, I don't know. Life. Let's, yeah, always, let's talk. We're always trying work. to get on the scene. You got some trunks? Yeah, Crazy I got Dan. One. All right. Oh, yeah. this is he just swims in his. I got the flippers and sweats. You so, got the trunks. Back around, um, so we have. <clears throat> so at the senior center, usually we're we're trying to get like ten seniors per day there. I have a, I have some leads on that. Um, there's a there's a Mesa senior improv troupe. Oh, oh, that is. could be perfect. So that's <laughs> that's like number eighty-three thing on the list. I mean, I'll bump <laughs> it up. Um, and there are some other there's some other background stuff. I don't have it with me, but maybe I'll send out a little list of what we're looking. Like your neighbor, Daisy's neighbor that puts brings the Christmas tree. Oh, Alton said he'd do it. Senior, so they, junior. Uh, senior. Okay. Oh, so, perfect. Yeah. So he. So they said we. You guys could do the house, whatever, and then. We okay. Can look for decorations, but he'll do it. Okay, great. Yeah. Is this supposed to be a live tree? No, I was thinking an old Charlie Brown. You, well, it could be either. It doesn't have to be a tree. He's or taking down decorations. It could be just something we He's see. Just Christmas some action over with there. Christmas. Okay. But yeah, we can. I can send an email out of 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 extra of background stuff that we need. Like and it's mainly the senior center. The rest is pretty contained. Daisy's house, the, the van trip, the, the road center. trip. Yeah. The swimming head people. And the swimming, there's the a few swimming stuff. people. Yeah. Which are also. Are there any other people in the grocery store with them? When we do there? have, yeah. There's some grocery. There's like there's a grocery store clerk. That's I've never seen one Leland, of them. Leland Thomas. I don't know if I've given you his info. Uh -uh. You mean Vic? And yeah. Vic. We have a Vic. We too. have a Vic. Yeah, Vic. Nice. I love that part. Soci. I just sent you all my highest recommendations. Thank you. Um, but I'm excited. This is, I know some of you have just barely come on and some have been on for a few months and Percy been on for a few years, 30 years or whatever you said. <laughs> Thank you for taking a few hours to do this. And I look forward to starting here in a few days. That still is amazing. Do you have any so. kind of schedule? Yeah, I think I've talked a lot of schedule dates with, with most of you. Um, most of those dates are still good. I'm, I'm in the process. We're wrapping up a location, still waiting for bashes, a grocery store, trying to get that locked in. So majority of stuff is, is dialed in. I'm working on the schedule because of some, some appointments and stuff that are happening on the 10th specifically. There's a couple, a couple have similar times, which is so, so we're, we're rearranging a few of those things, but. Where are you guys filming the senior center stuff? Um, really close. We could see that your tower from where it was. It's on <laughs> six. 
Sixth Street. In La Cire. Oh yeah, it's like Super it was funny. Close. Like with, yeah, that's I mean our movies like within a two mile radius. Mm-hmm. We're like, nice. I'm gonna ride my bike every day to <laughs> yeah. just sit. But this is Melin- Melinda's house. You walk out of here. We have that little scene here, and so really, oh, okay. we're shooting some stuff at Roz's house, but I haven't talked to her yet. You're about welcome it. to. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I live in the guest house. So uh, you will just get us the schedule, like addresses of where we're supposed to go to, what the day before. Yeah, of course. Hopefully, 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 hopefully this week. Oh, okay. Oh, that'd <laughs> yeah, yeah that'd, be, that'd be good. That's even better. That'd be great. That's, and those should be coming from Benson, mm-hmm. our AD. Benson and Spencer. Did you guys meet Spencer? Spencer, is your, home, is your hair combed? So here's Spencer. He's going to be helping Benson and Spencer kind of handling. Did you guys see a baby? Yeah, a lady and a baby. But, um, oh, we may. Yeah. I kind of wrote it when back when we had a baby. I was thinking of Rebecca and our Michaela, but I haven't talked to Rebecca and she usually wants nothing to do with that. So, <laughs> do you have a real group of like a children's school or something that comes and sings? A neighbor, just a few houses down, that she. <laughs> She teaches the choir and a bunch of stuff at Westwood High School. So she oh, has kids. So she's putting together eight to 10 kids in the neighborhood That'll for church nice. and just neighborhood friends to, to have them seem like a little Christmas melt uh, medley. Oh, this is this film is very much a collaboration to make it happen with with where we're at with everything. And But it's coming together. It's amazing. Little pieces and big pieces are all continuing every day, falling, falling into place. So what, what day would you do the store scene? I'm, I'm waiting on bashes. Grocery stores have been very, obviously, COVID. Like yeah. the last year, bashes said, no, we mm-hmm. can't now. But that was like six months ago. And then mm-hmm. things have changed. And a lot of stores are just, no, it's, we've had film crews before. No, mm-hmm. thank you. And basically, that's where all my eggs are in that basket. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all for coming. And nice meeting you all. Can we sign off? I, I want to show you. Yeah. you Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Hi, Greg. Easy. Nice to meet you, Percy. Bye, kids. Oh, bye. Bye, guys. You were lovely, Percy. Thanks, guys. Bye, I'll Bethan. see you at Christmas, Percy. <laughs> Tonight, we had a cast read-through, and we had four or five people that were on Zoom. One was um, out in L.A. on it, and then the others were here in the Phoenix Valley, and then we had um, five or six that showed up in person. I was kind of hoping for, especially some of the leads to, to show up in person, but um, a few did and, and some did, and I was kind of disappointed when that started, but um, just cause that's good time to really kind of connect and here's people you're gonna be working with and especially those that in the movie are supposed to have that relationship already, the more you can do those little important things, but also kind of social gatherings before the film happens, I think can be really valuable. Um, to the film with those characters specifically that already are supposed to have like years or know each other in the movie. But I'm pleased with it. I think this will be the film that um, like on an average I've had, I've worked with great actors, great first time actors, great experienced actors in the past, but I feel like this film that my average, if you take all those actors and average out where they're at on the acting spectrum, however you do that, this film is probably my highest average of overall like solid talent. Um, so I'm pleased there's still some concerns. Um, Daisy, you know, Percy, she, it's her first film and she's playing with very experienced, very good actors. And so I, I'm hoping she comes through. I believe she will. Um, you know, I've seen her perform without acting, perform on stage, but I, I do. I'm concerned um, with her pulling through, and I'm really, really excited and pleased with, I think, our Ruby and our Melinda are wonderful. Um, they'll do a great job, and I think mixing Daisy in with them, I think that'll be good. i very pleased with the who's playing Jessica. She did a good job, and Diami and... Heidi and Amy and you know Evan and old Bob I think we have a really solid cast I still have like six or seven actors with speaking parts to to audition to find or to commit to and then I have pretty much the entire background 
stuff still to get done. So we're down to four days before shooting, Friday, Saturday. I try not to work on Sundays, but I'm probably gonna have to do something there. Try to keep the Sabbath day holy. And then Monday's a, a prep day. And then, yeah, we start shooting Tuesday. So um, just a lot, a lot to do. Um, hopefully get a good night's sleep and then get back at it tomorrow. And probably my first thing tomorrow to focus at is the schedule again. You know, we have, we have actor schedules that are a little conflicted. Or we need them for a whole day and we only have access to them like after 2 p.m. Some of that stuff is just gets frustrating. Um, but part of the... Part of the gig, AD to a feature film in January of this year, and we shot 12 days, two weeks, and one of the lead actors that was in almost every film, we only had him for like half the show to shoot majority of the show. So um, this isn't as challenging as that, but it still has its own challenges. I was able to communicate with Bashes too today, so got an email from their marketing director, person and so I was able to get that back to her and hopefully hear from her soon and a couple of days that we have open for that one of the main two actors that's in it isn't available for like the morning or the like after 12 or after 2 p.m on both of those days so that's a challenge when we're supposed to shoot the entire day there um trying to figure out how we're going to do that so there's still definitely some some hoops to jump through we don't have our apartment scene location locked in yet. I haven't got confirmation or anything done with the ocean, the San Diego stuff there at Wind and Sea Beach. I've submitted the permit, but haven't heard back from them. I'm waiting on a on a some other little attachment to get a certificate of insurance um, to them, and then our location where our road location where we see them driving down the road and some other things that happen on that road. It hasn't, I don't have, I don't have that location locked up where, where we're going to have that look, that road. And then also there's a store where they visit one of the actors visits in the movie and I don't have that store. So those are kind of the big things going on. A lot of the art, art stuff now is, you know, basically a full 24 hours where we've had a, our production designer on it, which is Jennifer, who's also playing our costume designer. So she's doing amazing work. And so another good day moving, moving the ball forward a few inches at times, maybe a few yards towards that touchdown of having a finished film that's in theaters and a successful movie. So literally could just sit here. I did most of the time just sit sit here and just do little thing after little thing or big thing and just trying to churn out stuff. Sometimes there's no no order to the madness. You just jump in and start going forward because there's so much to do. It just start churning and churning, churning, churning and um trying to get it get it made. So it's hard. This is hard work. Um Glad we have a little bit of money. We're not close to having the money we need. That would help the problem some. Um, but at the same time, we do have some money, so we can't complain. We can be making the film. So that's that's empowering as well. So we're in a good position. Um, I just hope these next four days I can get a lot of stuff off my plate, a lot of stuff where it needs to be the right people in the positions that can then take over the, all that work. And then I can focus on doing my job of, of directing and shooting the film and kind of back pocket producing as well. It's hard. It's kind of nose to the grindstone now. I don't want to stay up too late because then it kind of sets everything off. And so, I mean, it's already after 11 o'clock now, um, but I'll probably be up around 536, maybe earlier, um, just to start grinding and getting it done. So... Welcome to the independent film world, four days from production, which is exciting, but also very um, intense and feeling that pressure. And even in the midst of that today, just had that that thought or that feeling again of, of making our imperfections in, in this process beautiful. Just that theme of the movie that I've had for a couple of weeks or so now, of just beauty and imperfection. The imperfection can be beauty, and that's that's where I'm hanging my hat and hoping that that I know we can get there. We can get to getting getting a finished film that's that's not perfect with some imperfection, but 
trusting the process that there's beauty in those imperfections. Um, when I think of that, it's just kind of eases things up and just like, okay, keep pushing forward, keep making it happen. So um, we'll see, keep following the journey.